hey guys so in despicable me 4 we get to see a very new concept which was named as mega minions now these are the minions which have definitely some good powers and probably they will be coming up in the next movie as well and that is what i'm expecting these mega minion have uh, different powers like for example one mini minion have a super strength another minion have uh, laser eyes and another minion have stretchable hands and legs Similarly, another minion can fly. So these are the minions which have separate different powers and uh, probably in the next uh, Despicable uh, 5 movie, we'll be able to see more mega minions who have different kind of powers because now uh, in this movie, we got to see the introduction of these things and probably in the next movie, they will extend on this concept and they will launch new minions in my opinion. And probably we'll see another few superpowers in the upcoming Despicable Movie f uh, 5, which is confirmed to be released in the beginning of year 2027 or by around ending of 2026. So the date is still not yet confirmed, but it is for sure that they will be extending on the concept of Mega Minion, which I have uh, acquired the news from uh, relevant sources. And uh, for sure, this is going to happen. And we just have to wait for another like 2.5 or two years to see that happen. And uh, other than that, when it comes to this particular movie, uh, the concept of Mega Minion was portrayed very in a very good way, in a very good sense, and uh, the storyline was also good. And I do think that uh, the VFX and graphics in the concept of Mega Minion was uh, on point, and it was definitely a good one. And overall, the concept of the introduction of Mega Minion was pretty good, and uh, I do think that the idea fared very well uh, on the box office as well. However, when it comes to the collection, we saw pretty weak collections and other than that i do think that uh, the concept the new concept which they brought was definitely a thing to applaud for and uh, to praise for and uh, probably they will be uh, improving on this section more uh, in the upcoming movies so uh, yeah i do think that the concept was good however it did not perform well because uh, the when it comes to the box office collection of this particular movie we get to see that the movie has a very weak box office collection and because of that i am judging that uh, uh, it didn't fare well in the eyes of audience but when it comes to me i really enjoyed it and i personally gives it a thumbs up and uh, definitely a good scene other than that there's a fight scene between mega minion and maxim now maxim is the antagonist in this movie and uh, here we have two uh, protagonists in this movie the first one is obviously Gru and um, the second protagonist is obviously the Mega Minions. However, they had a very short part like the total part which were played by Mega Minion was of around like 10 to 15 minutes in the whole movie and that was it. Uh, they did not get a majority of the part in this movie. I don't know why uh, they could have given a majority part to the Mega Minions because it is a new concept but the producers of the movie did not think it uh, uh, that way and that is why they provided a very small part to Mega Minions. However, it was particularly uh, played well. I think it was the issue of budget and that is why they kept the Mega Minion part on a lower side. Uh, probably they will be uh, putting more uh, parts or scenes of Mega Minions in the upcoming movie which is Despicable 5. Uh, but for that we'll have to wait another uh, two years to get this movie. Other than that, uh, the movie was a pretty thumbs up for me and uh, you guys can go and watch it on uh, video on demand now as it has been released on uh, VOD. So guys go and check it out. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe us and make sure to stay tuned. Thank you for watching.